You're right there, Chaos here today, and I'm going to be going over how you migrate your OS from a hard drive to an SSD, hybrid drive, whatever you want to do with a nice easy software. Hang on in, going to be fun. So, welcome back. We're going to be going over how to migrate your OS to an SSD, hard drive, whatever storage device you'd want. So in this situation, I have got my Kingston 240 gigabyte SSD. I want to migrate my boot drive partition from my standard hard drive with, you know, the system reserve parts and everything to the SSD to see if there's an improvement in performance. So the nice thing is I'm using my USB 3 adapter to SATA connector so it isn't actually plugged into the PC yet. Make sure whatever you're moving it to has enough unallocated space for this movement. So you want to click migrate OS so it's nice and easy just click next. Here's the unallocated space. I go next. I'm not going to fiddle around with this size yet. Do that once it's all up and running and everything's fine. So you want to click next. So it says here, when the migration's finished, we suggest you not to start the computer from the SSD or hard drive disk directly. In order to make the OS bootable from the suggested disk, please shut down the computer after migration is completed, then disconnect the source one. So long story short, disconnect obviously your previous disk and put in the new one in the same spot the issue I've got is obviously it's gonna keep this one here and have this one so I'm gonna to have to go into the BIOS when it's all done and set the windows to boot from this disk here okay so there's plenty of videos out there that explain how to go into BIOS I have a struggle actually recording it because I can't record it okay I may do a video on the future if people really really request it so let's go on to finish and that's obviously all ready to be started so you click apply and you let it boot through so I'll catch up with you in a bit once this is all done but a little proviso I'm using an adapter to do this this is going to be slower than using a SATA 3 connection okay so just forewarning you See you in a bit. You're right there. This is actually the day after I've allowed the PC to reboot and everything and I tested everything over. So what it was, was when it copied over to the SSD, it migrated the boot drive and everything. It allocated the SSD boot drive partitions, everything as C. And then it corrected the old partitions that was on disk three three here to an F lettering so basically the PC the Windows operating system would boot automatically from the SSD and it would keep the F drive once as the original to one side just in case there was a corruption I could then wipe off the, the new SSD and go back to the old one and try it again so I wiped that off sorted out all the configurations However, one little tip that I got to say, I can't really show you now, but when you go over to migrate SSD, there is an option at the bottom for say, you click, it would say migrate to SSD, but also it migrate by sectors, click on that option, okay? If you don't, if you have a little bit of corruption on your operating system, I had one corrupted file I found out. It doesn't allow you to boot from that newly copied or cloned drive even one file so click on that it will then copy over section by section it will take longer but it will make sure oh that's a corrupted file we'll then adjust that and it'll be fine okay so I hope this video has been helpful and you can use this technique not just for obviously the partition assistant but multiple different partition assistant software out there so if you need any help in the future with this one don't be afraid to comment down below I'm more than happy to help so you all take care chaos out
Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to see the other videos in the playlist, you've got the left hand option. If you want to see the content that I have on my channel, you then have that middle option there. And if you'd like to join the Chaotic Crew, please don't be afraid to click that button on the right hand side. You're more than welcome.